Okay, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to begin by giving all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. And Shalom to your brothers that are pushing this word out in truth and sincerity and in charity. I'm the brother Abraham from the camp here in JMS Chicago. Coming to do another quick lesson through the Holy Spirit. Lord, wouldn't it be edifying? And uh, this video is uh, pretty much a response, I guess, or um, adding my two cents into this video that you see here on the screen by GMS Upon Precepts. And it's called Desperation is at an All Time High. They Delight in Lies. And um, I'm going to go ahead and play uh, the beginning of the clip. That uh, the brother shows, <clears throat> and then I'm gonna bring some scriptures out. And <laughs> man, it's just amazing um, the desperation that is on Esau Edom. Um, but at the same time, it's it's not like it surprises you, but at the same time, it doesn't because we know that the scriptures have to fulfill themselves. All right, prophecy has to be fulfilled. All right, we know that uh, the enemy is um, going to come with a great wrath because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. Okay, that the enemy shall come in like a flood. That evils shall be increased in the earth, which is, uh, you see all these things happening today. All right, there's a uh, protest going on in South Africa, in Cuba. All right, civil unrest here in America, worldwide. Okay, um, these signs are all signs that we are at the end times. Okay, <clears throat> so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, play this clip real, real quick. It's not long at all. Then I'm going to bring some scriptures out. I do believe that the act of getting vaccinated is the very essence, the very essence of what the Bible tells us when it says, love thy neighbor. Right? Because what we know is, one can ask, well, who is one's neighbor? Is it the person who lives to my left, lives to my right? I know them, may borrow cup of sugar, right? Um, but what we know it means when we talk about love thy neighbor is that, yes, it may be the person next door, and it may be the man on the side of the road, and it may be a perfect stranger. And in the face of that stranger, you see a friend. That's what this is about. And so by getting vaccinated, you are loving your neighbor. <laughs> Oh, man, they got some nerve. They got some nerve to bring out the uh, scriptures into this. They got some nerve to talk about and bring in the Bible into this, into getting jabbed up. All right. The scriptures tell us in the law. All right. Not to pierce anything in our skin. All right. That will cut the flesh. Which is what getting the jab does. Okay. So. Man, it's, it's just. Uh, it angers you when you see, see things like this, man. Alright. Because they're taking. This whole, this word. And using it for their wicked cause. Okay. Uh, let me just bring this out real quick in the book of. Uh. I believe it's Psalms 55. And, um. Let's see uh, what verse it was. It's a lock you bear with me. I'll just search it. Search for it. Um. Oh, Psalms 50. Psalms 50 and 16. 
I was in Psalms 55. Uh, it reads, But unto the wicked God seeth, what hast thou to do to declare my statutes, or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth? Right? So here it is. They're bringing the scriptures out and things like this. Here it is. They got on their dollar bill and God we trust. Yet, y'all do everything the exact opposite of what the scriptures say. How to deal um, with the economy, with the land. All right. With how to live life in general. Because the law, statutes, and commandments are what? The doctrine of life. The teachings of life. Was the good way. All right. And to walk. They're in, all right, that we may prosper and have a very long life, okay. But in today's society, thanks to Esau Edom, it's not that way because he's the one in rulership, so he's the one calling the shots, all right. In the book of Sirach, it talks about how the as the ruler of the of the city is, so are all the inhabitants of that land, okay. So if the world is given into the hands of the wicked. Guess what? All the inhabitants of the earth are going to be wicked as well. Okay? It says, Seeing thou hatest instruction and castest my words behind thee. So it's like they looked at this book and they tossed it behind their back. Okay? I'm going to jump down to verse 19. It says, Thou givest thy mouth to evil and thy tongue frameth deceit all right and that's what they're doing with their whole agenda to get everybody jabbed up man but i'm not gonna go into specifically that too much because then you know, we already know how esau edom is he is but her and starts taking videos down so i won't say too much about that subject again uh, this is Proverbs 6 and 16. It says, These six things does the Lord hate, yet seven are an abomination unto him. A proud look, which that's what Esau Edom got, is a proud look, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood. Right? This fits Esau, Esau's uh, characteristics and... This is what he is guilty of. Verse 18 says, And heart that devises wicked imaginations, feet that be swift in running to mischief. Okay? And <laughs> that's what they do, man. Nothing but deceit. Nothing but lies. All right. In the book of uh, Nahum 3, I believe. This is Walter to the bloody city. It is full of lies. Okay. Now they're trying to pass the laws of whether we should teach the history of racism in school. Why? Because it exposes Esau Edom and what he did to get America, man. And his, his shame is being spewed upon his glory. Okay, for the for the longest time they've prospered, they've been feared, they've been looked to, they've been looked up to as an invincible man, damn near godlike. Okay, but now his glory is being turned to shame because he's being uncovered, and it's all through the spirit and power you have by Shimiao Shai. And what he's doing, man. And he's doing this through the prophecies. I have hewn them through thy prophets. Right? This is, uh... Proverbs 26 and... Damn, I don't know where I should start. I'm sorry, 25. When he speaketh fair, believe him not, for there are seven abominations in his heart. And Esau Edom, all he does is speak fair. He speaks sweetly with his lips. It says, Scriptures say, you know, never trust an enemy, for as iron rusts, so is his wickedness. 
right, that your enemy speaketh sweetly with his lips. Okay, so you gotta have that discernment. Okay, that spiritual discernment to filter these things. Okay, so your average Joe is not gonna really see through this. They're gonna be like, "Oh snap! I really do gotta get the job." Okay. Verse twenty six: Whose hatred is covered by deceit, his wickedness shall he be shewed before the whole congregation. So, this deceit is um. The hatred is being covered by the deceit. They hate us. Right? They hate us because they hate the Lord. It says, Whoso diggeth a pit shall fall therein, and he that rolleth a stone, it will return upon him. Right? So, they that sow and plow iniquity reap the same, man. Okay? And... <laughs> They're going to be taken in the imaginations that they have imagined against us. Okay, this, that's what the scriptures say. This is a, verse 28. A lying tongue hateth those that are afflicted by it, and a flattering mouth worketh ruin. So, those that hate us lie to us. Okay, they're lying to us. When have they ever not lied to us? Right? This is uh, Psalms 35 and verse 19. It said, Let not them that are mine enemies wrongfully rejoice over me. Neither let them wink with the eye that hate me without a cause. Alright, so it goes on to say, it says, For they speak not peace, but they devise deceitful matters against them that are quiet in the land. Alright, so it says that the wicked plotted against the just. Okay. Why are they plotting against the just? Because the just is an abomination to the wicked and the wicked is an abomination to the just. Okay. And as crafty and as subtle as they are, they're not going to overthrow you the hard way. They're going to Try to overthrow you through their, through cra their crafty counsel and, you know, because Esau Edom is smart, man. He's like a serpent. Studying you, watching you. Knows your weaknesses, your strengths. Alright, uses... All kinds of tactics. I mean, look at what he did with Southern Kingdom and Northern Kingdom. He divided us and conquered us and set us up against ourselves, man. You know, it says he is wiser than Daniel. That the children of this world are wiser than the children of light. I mean, it is the left-hand side of the Most High, man. This... But hey, guess what? It says uh, that um, the council of sinners is not prudence, man. All that is just a council of wickedness. But we know through the scriptures that we're going to win in the end, man. It says, yeah, they opened their mouth wide against me and said, aha, aha, our eye has seen it. This has, this thou has seen, O Lord, keep not silence, O Lord, be not far from me. Stir up thyself and awake to my judgment and unto my cause, my God and my Lord. Right? So, right now, what we're doing is we're praying to the Most High. And we're like, how long, O Lord? How long shall this wickedness continue in the earth? How long will you let this go on? Right? And then the Most High said to pray for a few days, right? To pray for a few days, to pray to make the time short, all right? And that's what his elect are doing, all right? Praying for the few days, praying 
for the time to be short. For who for the leg's sake? Okay, because this is just going way too far now. Because the scripture says in Second Andrew 15 that um, wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth. Exceedingly polluted. So the earth is exceedingly polluted with wickedness, man. All right. Her sins have reached into heaven. Her hurtful works are fulfilled, man. All right, this wickedness that we see going on, this deceit that we see going on, all the chaos going on in the world are just signs, man, that the Most High is coming. He's on his way, man. We don't have too much time here. And it's, it's getting worse by the day. The wickedness keeps getting worse, waxing worse and worse. And it's getting even more wicked by the day. And it's just crazy because every time I see some some new some new wicked more wicked shit I see every fucking day, man. And it gets me angry, I get mad, but at the same time I'm not surprised because I know this these things have to happen. All right, but we don't have too much long, though, man. Okay. We don't have too much, too much long in this place. Let me see if I have anything else. <clears throat> this is our Psalms 50 and verse 19. Thou givest thy mouth to evil and thy tongue frameth the seat. Right? So that's what they do, man. Because they're the serpent, they're the devil. And the word devil means um, deceiver. Alright? They they deceive. This is not in the same revelation. Thou that deceiveth the whole world. Right? They deceived everybody, man. So I'm uh, I'm gonna go ahead and end it there, man. I just wanted to bring out a few words on this video, man, because I'm like, wow, they're going <laughs> far. They're going way too far for this. They going the extra mile, and so desperate for this stuff, man. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and end it there. But when that was edifying lesson, as always. All honor, glory, and praises goes to Yahweh, Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba Hashem, Until next time, Shalom.